A lack of awareness about individualized educational plans, or IEPs, could put your child behind in school. The solution could be better education for parents to understand how to advocate for these vital resources. News 8's Malia Van Ostrand has more on how raising awareness can ensure children with disabilities get the support they need to thrive. For some students, an IEP is the key to getting them the support that they need in school. Individualized Educational Plans, or IEP, is a written document that is tailored to the educational needs and goals of students ages K through 12. The IEP process and IEP goals and supports are a federal right for any family, but they may not have the full perspective. According to the National Center for Learning Disabilities, one in five children are affected by learning and attention disabilities, but not all of them are receiving the services they need. Misconceptions of IEPs can include low expectations or misrepresentation of a child's educational potential. So if a parent starts the conversation, that enables the school to share their process and what they're seeing for performance for the student. Another challenge is the stigma associated with special education and the fear of labeling a child as special needs. Learning and attention issues, emotional disorders, physical disabilities, developmental delays, an injury, or having a disease like cancer can qualify a child for an IEP evaluation. It's an exploration and it's a conversation and parents should feel confident about what they know about their student and about communicating that with a school and hearing what might be possible. Though there are a lot of children in Indiana who do use the IEP programs at their schools, they could use more support outside of the classroom as well. I think what happens though is that there are maybe, it could be more robust if families were involved in that process. According to Easter Seals, parental involvement is a critical role in making a difference in their child's educational journey. Parents can help by having a structured environment and communicating often with teachers and staff. They know their son or daughter better than anyone else. And so bringing that information forward and maybe talking about what kind of accommodations that they think that their son or daughter is going to need in school or, or out of high school. For older students, programs like at Easter Seals act as a supplement to IEPs and can help make the transition to college easier. Be doing additional career evaluations to see where maybe somebody's interest lies, or that could be work based learning. The initial IEP evaluation process takes an average of 50 school days. In Indianapolis, I'm Leah Van Ostrand, Wish TV, wishtv.com, or follow us on Facebook for updates.